Welcome, Shadowrun community! Alright, so, since many of you will probably want to create random counters and create random events for your UGC, I'm going to create yet another tutorial, pre-lunch, to bring you... well, to show you how to get it done. So, what we want to do for runs, and what is very important for us, why is this buggy? Here it is. So what we want to do is to create a new region, which I'm going to t uh, call bus stop. And this bus stop region, well, no, I don't want to move it. It's going to take up some space in front of the bus stop. So when we enter it, it is entered and thus tr can trigger something trigger which I'm going to call random bus stop for this random um, for this random event to work I need to have a new variable which I'm going to call random it's an integer and the scope is this scene because I don't need this random integer um, variable in another scene and for this to work I want to create an event which I call random one or no, 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 random is enough. So, what do we want? We want this to retain so it triggers every time when we are entering the region. Not the camera region, but the bus stop region. We want to set an integer and we want to set an integer random to a function to a random int between 0 and 10 and we want to send out an event after we set this trigger uh, no we do want to send this event but we uh, I didn't want to overwrite this so I'm going to set it again system set variable int to uh, yeah to fun random int between 0 and 10. Yes, this looks more like it. So, now that I set it as um, it's supposed to send out a game event run 1, I can create another trigger which I'm going to call random random 1. Yeah, no, this is very awesome. When it does start on random 1 and if the int scene variable random is equal to let's say equal to um no greater than or equal to um, let's say six do display text over actor action text Interesting to know that the ganger is already here. He is not supposed to be here now. So, going to let us play over, uh, show over player character 0. And the text display is going to say, I am a um, random event. Alright, otherwise it does nothing. As you can see, when this random integer is not equal to or greater than 6, so 0 to 5 it does nothing. It is retained and what I do I wanted to do and uh, to do two is to show you text um, display text is screen position GM text come on bus stop I am inside you. I think this is quite important because I'm going to show this for two seconds or let's say one one com uh, one hmm. for one second. This is very important because now we uh, know that we have entered the region again uh, even when nothing else happens. So
Here we are. We are going to enter the area. Bus stop, I am inside you. So we know we are in the bus stop, but nothing happened. I am a random event. This time we entered it and the random event fired. We got almost a 50% chance for it to fire, so it's getting caught up quite often. Damn, we are lucky. Let's see if it comes again. No, this time it didn't. So as you can see, sometimes it did fire up when we uh, entered this area and sometimes it didn't. As you just saw, it worked. But what do we want to do? What do we have to do if we want to have two or more, uh, three or more different outcomes and not just only two? For this occasion we create another event called Random2 and we are going to if I'm a random event does not fire, we are going to system send event game event random two, and now we are going to create a second trigger, uh, a third trigger, which is going to fire up when random two is called. So this means it does only fire up when random is not greater than or equal to six because it's otherwise, it's when this if condition isn't met. But we want us to compare the int again. So scene variable random is less than or equal to, let's say less than or equal to, no, oh come on, let's say two. So it does fire on zero, on one and on two. It doesn't fire on three or four or five and the other integer does fire on everything else. What do we want to do? We want to have um, some text displaying over the character again. Once again it's action text and this time around we want to say I am random event 2. Quite easy, isn't it? Let's once again enter the bus station. I'm random event 2 and there it is. What does happen this time? We got lucky and got random event 2 again. And again. Come on. I want to see something else. Uh, I want to see something else now. And here is the first random event. So it's quite unlikely that nothing gets called because so much of our integer is set to the random event. You could of course set it to, you know, 1 out of 10, but then would get called quite seldom. Well, not often that is. But what do we have to do if we want someone to appear and attack us when we are entering a region and calling a random event? Finally, to have a random encounter, we want someone to encounter. So I'm going to use, I'm going to drag an active spawner over into the map. I'm going to call it uh, random ganger. And yes, I do love caps. Spawn at map start. I'm going to set this to false because I don't want a ganger to appear when he likes to. I'm going to set him to team gangers. And I'm going to set him to random elf adopt so that we have some variation in here. I'm also going to turn off the wall layer and hide him behind the wall so that he appears out of sight and not sh doesn't pop off and you know doesn't appear in midair. Restroom? Why the fudge? All right. Furthermore, I'm going to create yet another random event or event which I can call, and I'm going to call this. And the otherwise uh, otherwise section, send event random three. So this event random three is only called when random one's if condition and random two's if condition are not met. So therefore, I'm going to crea uh, create a second random trigger, uh, a third random trigger. I'm going to also retain this when random three is sent out. I don't want to have an if condition this time because I don't need one. 
there are just a few um, integer values between w 0 and 10 left so I'm just going to use those. Actors activate actor spawner activate random ganger and to make sure AI or the actor to hunt and destroy team random ganger hunt and destroy shadowrunners oh and just to make sure display text over actor so that we can see him right away action text oh wow ganger appears random 2 random 2 again once again damn we are out of luck <laughs> random 2 what the fudge random 1 come on guys not everything can be random 1 or random 2 you know We've got some Integra values that are not random 1 or random 2. This is sick. Huh. No. And the Wild Ganger appears. There he is. <coughs> going to kill you, man. Are you going to kill me? Oh my god. He looks like my twin. And I killed him. Alright guys. So as you can see it works out. I hope this will help you create awesome UGC with some interesting random encounters. Um, feel free to like, comment and subscribe. And check out Shadowrun.com for more Shadowrun news. And also an awesome and friendly Shadowrun community. And be sure to buy this game on Steam. It's out on Thursday the 25th, just tomorrow. Shoot straight, conserve ammo and never ever deal with a dragon.